Bitcoin trading in 2023. What's your plan? I'll tell you mine. But first, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Turn on alerts so you know when we're going live. And if the content works for you, hit the like button. What are you going to do in Bitcoin in 2023? First thing that's going to happen is you're going to deal with tax law selling early on. People are going to take losses, right? And have those count for their 2023 taxes. They also may sell Bitcoin because they may give up. After all, Michael Saylor quietly gave up. He said, yeah, we bought 2,200 Bitcoin, but we also sold 700 Bitcoin, probably to cover leveraged losses or avoid getting liquidated. So maybe the big Michael Saylor problem that everybody thought, or at least I thought, was going to be an issue to end the bear market was kind of a whisper, which could create a break or a pause in the bear market. So back to Bitcoin trading. Probably a lot of selling the first couple days. But then Bitcoin either gets stable and maybe catches a bid later on in the month. So you're going to switch from selling rallies to possibly buying dips. Not possibly, I think that's actually a good plan, not investment advice, all right? Because gold should do better, commodities should do better, and remember, crypto is regulated by the CFTC, so crypto is also a commodity. So if the first week of 2023, you see a 1,000 in ETH, or maybe even a new low for the move in Bitcoin, and everybody goes, oh my God, the sky is falling, it's not. Somebody was asking me today about Max Payne. Max Payne in crypto is everybody gets bearish at the beginning of the year and then it turns around, turns around sharply. One other reason it might turn around is that SBF is going to roll over on every crypto regulator and all these crypto regulators were taking money. Why were they taking money or why was SBF giving them money? Because they were vehemently anti-crypto. The next group of regulators is going to say, wait a minute, FTX and centralized protocols is what went wrong. So we should stay away from, right, hammering on DeFi or decentralized exchanges, the Uniswap or things that trade on Uniswap, right? The enemy was centralized exchanges. The enemy was centralized crypto banks. The, the friendly part of crypto, regulators will realize, is the decentralized part of crypto. Look for this to be a big driving factor for big cryptocurrencies. Because again, everyone's like, oh, I can't buy because of regulatory risk. Regulatory risk pauses or goes away in the first part of 2023.